So, you know, we've made a lot of videos. I don't know how many, but... Um, many. Yeah, there, there hasn't been a time that we've made a when am I video. No, no, uh, no. But it is a potent practice. What so maybe we want to talk about why we haven't made a when am I. Yeah, and, and we did stick a when am I discussion in an earlier video, but um, gotten inquiries about why not have a when am I guided meditation. Mm. And the reason it, it doesn't work as well as, you know, where am I or what is this, is because when am I really has to be done across time. It is a when am I. And so it's most useful if you can apply it during the course of the day. And you can see that, in fact, as Virginia Woolf famously said, that you have as many personalities or eyes as you have relationships. And you can see as you change your day and go through different organizations of relationships, ones, twos, threes, one, twos, threes, that a different eye shows up every time. And the big teaching out of this is pretty simple. It's just that you aren't one thing. You are an ad hoc entity that manifests as each situation arises and is particularly called upon. So it's, it's a nice way to uh, begin to deconstruct the eye in a whole other way into it. And yeah, I find myself doing it during the course of the day mm -hmm. so that, you know, if something comes up, I just say, when am I? And you look for the moment in time mm -hmm. where you could be, and it, it's kind of a giddy feeling, actually, because <laughs> <laughs> it's somehow more obvious even than the where am I. Mm -hmm or who am I, mm -hmm. because there's something more preposterous about ah. a, a self that has, that, you know, that has a moment in time, mm -hmm. almost as if we know that our temporality is very finite, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so it's very fun to do, because you say, oh, when am I, <laughs> you know, and then it's like getting the rug pulled out from under anything right. that would have a pretense yeah. to being in control. Well, even like, where am I? isn't a preposterous question. No. Who am I is not preposterous. No. When am I? Yeah. But when am I is a preposterous question. At the first look, you hear the song, you think, that's ridiculous, who, when am I? What does that mean, when am I? But at some level in you, there's a question like, oh, that's interesting. Because it is a preposterous question, as you point out. If we are an entity existing through continuous time, with past, present, and future, then in fact, it doesn't have any meaning. Right. But if you, if you look at that carefully and find that it's not the case, that you're not a continuous entity passing through time, then it takes on a lot of urgency, a lot of potency, because then it begins to really tear at the whole idea of there being a past, present, and future, and about what this I is, and when it does exist or not exist, because it doesn't exist all the time. And if you uh, ask it, and you look for the self, you know, when am I? What you automatically experience then is the present moment. Mm -hmm is now. Mm -hmm. You say, well, when else would I be? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but now, right? Uh, but that now is not a now in which the self is the same as it was before. What's the same is now. Yeah, well, and, and you, ask, <laughs> you ask it, and you say, when am I? And there's a stop. Yeah. As they say, you're drawn yeah. into the present moment. Yeah. In the present moment, you find out you aren't there. Exactly. And the so present like, moment's there, but you're not. You're, yeah, but you just, <laughs> oh, my, oh, gee, this is really an interesting thing. I ask, when am I? And now I find I'm in the present moment, and I'm not there. So you again begin, the eye starts to crumble even more because it begins to recognize, oh, there's now, I'm not even here in now. What's interesting is because, you know, now that we're doing it, as it were, um, it, not only is it an interesting investigation into the nature of the eye as this transient phenomenon, it's really a wonderful self-experiment in what time feels like. Mm -hmm. Because as soon as you feel that swelling into the present moment, I don't know any other word to use, it's just kind of the present moment just kind of swells. like. There's no room here for anything but the present moment. Mm -hmm. There's no I here, mm -hmm. just nowness. Mm -hmm. Then you start to feel and be able to differentiate the distinction between our idea of time, which is that abstract linear process of past, present, future, and the actual experience of now mm -hmm. as that just kind of fecund generativity of now that is happening, here it is again. You know, it's always there. When you use a great word, I haven't heard it used the same this way again, but swelling. Yeah. I mean, the this the now is not just like do, 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 do. no, it's, it's like do, yes, exactly. It's, do, it's huge. It's, exactly. It's a huge, fecund, yeah. pregnant, enormously yeah. powerful, totally different 
from the, any sense of what past feels like or what future feels like. It just goes, it's enormous. Well, it's so big it contains eternity because it it's does. unchanging. Everything. So it just, the eye just blow, blown away by yeah, now. Yeah, it's totally blown away by now. Yeah.